Ever wonder if we could hop into a machine, press a button, and journey to a different time period? The concept of time travel has tickled our collective imaginations for centuries. It's been a staple of science fiction narratives, a tantalizing possibility that has been explored in countless novels, films, and TV series. We've dreamt of voyaging to the distant past, witnessing the dawn of civilization, or catapulting into the far future to see how humanity's story unfolds. But what is time travel really? At its core, it's the idea of moving between different points in time, much like we move between different points in space. However, our understanding of time is fundamentally different from our understanding of space. We see time as a linear, one-way street. We're born, we grow, we age, and we can't rewind the clock or fast forward through the drudgeries. We're passengers on the relentless train of time, with no control over its speed or direction. But the idea of time travel challenges this notion. It suggests that time might not be a straight line, but rather a fabric that can be bent, folded, and manipulated. It raises the question, what if we could step off the relentless train, change tracks, and perhaps even control the speed? It's a mind-bending concept, one that has been pondered by some of the brightest minds in science. It's a concept that pushes the boundaries of what we know about the universe and our place in it. It's a concept that challenges our perceptions of reality, causality, and the very nature of existence. Yet, despite its prevalence in popular culture and its deep roots in our collective imagination, time travel remains a concept shrouded in mystery. It's a subject that invites skepticism and incredulity, a topic that seems more at home in the realm of science fiction than in the realm of scientific possibility. So is time travel just a captivating fantasy, or could it actually become a reality? To understand time travel first, we must grasp the concept of time itself. Time, as we all know, is a measure of events from past through present to future. It's a constant companion, always ticking away in the background, marching on at a steady pace. But is it really that simple? Not quite, according to Albert Einstein. Einstein's theory of relativity, one of the pillars of modern physics, gives us a more nuanced understanding of time. This theory essentially tells us that time and space are interwoven into a single continuum known as space-time. Now here's where things get interesting. This space-time isn't a flat surface. It's curved and warped by the mass and energy of the universe's objects. Think of it like a trampoline. If you place a heavy object on it, it creates a dip, right? In a similar fashion, massive objects like planets and stars curve space-time around them. This curvature leads to an effect known as time dilation. Time dilation is the difference in the elapsed time as measured by two observers due to a relative velocity between them or to a difference in gravitational potential between their locations. In simpler terms, time runs slower near massive objects. This is not just a theoretical prediction. It's been tested and confirmed in numerous experiments. So what does this mean for time travel? Well, in theory, if you could build a spaceship capable of near light speed, you could experience time dilation. A trip to a distant star might only feel like a few years to you, but when you return to Earth, centuries might have passed. This is essentially a one-way trip to the future. There's also the concept of wormholes, shortcuts through space-time that could potentially allow for backward time travel, but that's a topic for another day. Now that we've got a basic understanding of time, let's delve into the possibilities of time travel. Now given our understanding of time, you might be wondering about the possibilities of time travel. Let's plunge into the world of hypotheticals. Imagine if we could somehow harness the power of a wormhole, those hypothetical tunnels in space-time. They are presumed to connect two different points in space and time, almost like a cosmic shortcut. It's like folding a piece of paper in half and poking a hole through both ends. Theoretically, if we could stabilize a wormhole and pass through it without being torn apart by gravitational forces, we could emerge in a different time and place. Then there's the concept of light-speed travel. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, as you approach the speed of light, time slows down. So if you could travel at light speed, you might return to Earth to find that while only a few years have passed for you, decades or even centuries have passed for everyone else. This is known as time dilation, and it's been proven in numerous scientific experiments. But here's where things get tricky. Time travel isn't without its paradoxes. One of the most famous is the grandfather paradox. 
This is the idea that if you traveled back in time and accidentally caused the death of your grandfather before your parent was conceived, you would never have been born and thus could not have traveled back in time in the first place. It's a mind boggling conundrum that has puzzled scientists and philosophers alike. There's also the issue of causality, the principle that cause precedes effect. If you could go back in time and change something, that would mean the future you came from no longer exists. This creates a paradox because you could alter the very events that led to your time travel in the first place. Although these possibilities are fascinating, they bring us face to face with some perplexing paradoxes. The world of time travel is indeed a rabbit hole of enigmas and paradoxes, a frontier that challenges our understanding of reality itself. What happens when you change something in the past that affects the present? Welcome to the world of time travel paradoxes. First, let's dive into the grandfather paradox. Imagine for a moment that you've traveled back in time and, in a twist of fate, accidentally caused your own grandfather's demise before your mother or father was born. If this were to happen, how could you have existed in the first place to travel back in time? This is a classic example of a time travel paradox where your actions in the past contradict the reality of your existence. Now let's explore another mind-boggling paradox known as the bootstrap paradox. Imagine you're a time traveler who loves Beethoven's music. You decide to visit him, but when you reach the past, you realize Beethoven never existed. So you publish all his works under his name to ensure that the world doesn't miss out on his genius. But here's the catch. If Beethoven never existed, where did the music originally come from? This paradox raises questions about the origin and causality of events and objects when time travel is involved. These paradoxes aren't just theoretical puzzles. They're fundamental challenges to our understanding of cause and effect and the nature of time itself. They raise questions about the linearity of time, the possibility of changing past events, and the very concept of before and after. Interestingly, some physicists argue that these paradoxes wouldn't occur in reality due to something called the Novikov self-consistency principle. This principle suggests that the rules of the universe could be such that it's impossible to create time paradoxes. Any action you attempt to take in the past that would create a paradox simply wouldn't happen. These paradoxes give us a lot to ponder about the consequences of time travel. Now that we've explored the concept, possibilities, and paradoxes of time travel, what does the future hold? Well, while we don't have a DeLorean or a TARDIS parked in the garage just yet, the scientific community is buzzing with ongoing research into the tantalizing mysteries of time. The field of quantum physics in particular is a hotbed of theories and experiments that could one day unlock the secrets of time travel. Let's take a look at some of the most promising avenues of research. Quantum entanglement, a concept so strange that even Einstein referred to it as spooky action at a distance, holds potential clues. It's a phenomenon where two particles become linked and changes to one particle can instantly affect the other, no matter how far apart they are. Some scientists think that this could be a key to understanding how time works on the quantum level. Another exciting area of study is the concept of wormholes. These are theoretical passages through space-time, a kind of cosmic shortcut that could potentially allow something or someone to travel great distances in an instant. Imagine stepping into a wormhole in your living room and stepping out on the other side of the universe, or perhaps even more intriguingly, stepping out in a different time. But let's not get carried away. These are early days, and we are far from understanding the full implications of these theories, let alone turning them into a functioning time machine. But that's the beauty of science. It's a journey of discovery, of pushing boundaries and challenging what we know. So, what does the future hold for time travel? It's impossible to say for sure. But one thing is clear, we're not giving up on the quest. Every day, scientists around the world are exploring new ideas, conducting new experiments, and inching us ever closer to the dream of mastering time itself. Whether we'll ever be able to travel through time remains uncertain, but the journey to find out is certainly going to be an exciting one.